Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to your favorite show, and that is men. Today, we are going to be talking about men and hygiene. How clean is your man? So ladies, you don't want to go anywhere. We want you to be part of this show. But the only way you can be part of this show, because today we are only here as men, is if you follow us either on Facebook or on Twitter, and let's start the conversation and get it going. Now, we are here at the Naguru Skies Hotel, and we have arguably the best view in Kampala. You need to be here to see it, because nobody can explain it to you. You have to see it for yourself. Guys, welcome to the show. Today we are talking about hygiene, but I can see fresh cuts until a certain point. It stops there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, but... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, bro. Don't, don't, don't. I'll, I'll, I'll get to you. I need you to breathe in, breathe out. I know the past few weeks have been really hectic for you. Huh? A lot to take in. Yeah. But anyway, Colin, let's just start. Mm. Uh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, we shall get to you, but let's, start with <laughs> you. Yeah, let's take the bull by the horn. Aye. Now, do you think as a man, because, you know, everybody says we need to, that is meant to be the traditional man, the guy who's rugged, who grows a beard, has dreadlocks, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Is that the man, or do you need a clean-shaven man like yours truly? Mm. So what do I know? I know that, that hygiene, as it's defined, uh, most people want to, they want to narrow it down to, you know, the simple things, showering twice a day and grooming. But I also know that, that today's man is infinitely more complex than what the traditional sort of format allows and describes him as. Mm -hmm. So, um, is it, Okay, for a man to have hair, it is. I mean, I, I, I've been lucky that I work in an industry where it's all right. Do I wash my hair? Yes, I have to wash my hair once a week. I, I take it to the saloon, they shampoo it, they condition it. And when I go to sleep at night, I have to put the head soak. So it doesn't, the oil in the hair doesn't stain the pillow. <laughs> TMI. No, I'm just saying, because this is the reality yeah. of this. That's the price that I pay. But in return for that, what do I look like? I walk into a room and we all look different. Peter looks like he's never had a follicle of hair on his head. Like a tail. Okay. <laughs> like, a, like a tail. Like a Chinese tail. <laughs> we walk into a room and the reactions are different. And that's okay because for me, my hair is an expression of who I am and where I st what I stand for and what I believe. Mm -hmm. Is it important? Is grooming important for men? Yes. Because the age of the rugged man, the man who smells like sweat, that age has gone. Men must smell nice. They, they must shower. They, because it's not just about you. Remember that if you're a head of house, if you're married, you're in a household, people don't see you showering, your kids are going to stop showering. But two, people who don't shower are likely to carry diseases and infections. <laughs> they are the ones who get, you know, they have skid marks on their underwear and stuff like that. So, so if you're not hygienic, you're going to infect everyone in your household and people around you. <laughs> okay, yeah, dear my. That's well, real I mean, talk, no, but Yes, are, this is real talk. Yes, real this is real talk. talk. This is and real finally, talk, yeah. this is what hygiene and grooming does for a man. As a man lives, so is his mind. As a man thinks, so he lives. A guy who doesn't shower, I promise you, in his mind, that guy has dirty, filthy thoughts. And that's not the right expression, but I mean, if an, your environment is an expression of how you think and how you live and how ordered you are. Mm -hmm. If you don't think it important for you to be clean and healthy and groom yourself, why do you think that it's important to order your thoughts and plan your life and be forward thinking? It doesn't work like no that. Reason at all. Also, women don't like to sleep with men who don't shave. Um, well. Uh, no, we'll get shiver. to that. Yes. That's like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you are not, not shaved. So. I, I, I don't think he's talking about. I, the know. I am <laughs> shaved where it matters, but. <laughs> Chief, good to have you. Yeah. Now, I have one question, especially for you younger guys. Um, there's been more um, articulation, especially from, from the younger men, in terms of what they look like, how they dress. We're seeing um, there's, there's even a lot economically. There's, um, there's a increased drive. Increased spending. Yes, increased spending. That's why we've got a lot of shops which are just 
men's shops. They, they, they have, and it's a full package. They'll give you a cologne, they'll give you a, a, a good tie, okay, you know, um, and a good outfit. Okay, that's, just take it, okay? No, I just remove it. <laughs> is that something that has come out of necessity or is it just going along with the crowd? I'll answer that question but through the back door. When I was young, my dad used to tell me, first impression, first. If you take that statement literally right now, right now, your first impression determines exactly what the, the perception someone will have about you. For us uh, millennials and all, when someone sees you with ragged jeans, the other jeans with your with your uh, the the, ass, boxers, the sure. boxers showing and mm -hmm. everything everything is out, you're either so poor, you you're not educated, and in this era of UPE, um, <laughs> your parents either died like those days, you've been on the street, steps slept on the street, and stuff like that. That's how they will look at you. <laughs> Even if that's how you want to dress up. Like Colin, if Colin wants to express himself by having dreads, right now, if you're having dreads, someone will be like, are you no more? <laughs> which school do you go to? You must be going to these posh schools which, which spoil our kids and what, what, what. That's the area we're living in right now. I've grown up, um, I've grown up, the people, the, your era, you're the one that's just above the millennials, I don't know, Generation X or Y, whatever, it was okay to be that, because that time, um, that stuff was out there, it baggy was, it jeans. It was actually illegal. Right? Yeah, it was, no, baggy jeans. It wasn't illegal, man. No, if you're but, sagging your jeans. Uh, uh, no, yeah, yeah but <laughs> baggy jeans. Uh, no. Right now, you're putting on baggy jeans. Right now, it's skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. It's skinny. It's called ka kachupa, pipe, <laughs> something, that fitting. type, fitting. Yeah. Yeah, everything has to fit. It has to hold your body. First impression first. Because they'll tell you, when you walk out there, you're going to either meet your boss, I mean, of the millions are poor. I mean, they are unemployed, so really, they're not going to meet their boss, but they want to impress the ladies. Mm -hmm. And the ladies are, are out there looking, hey, I want to see the muscle, even if they have a muscle or not, but that tight thing. Mm -hmm. The impression it, of the muscle. Yeah, exactly, when mm -hmm. that cellar the weight, when they see the print, exactly. <laughs> Someone. I says, cannot believe we're talking about a print on national <laughs> TV. But basically, you get yeah. the impression. As millennials, we're there to impress. Mm -hmm. you, uh, whether you have money or not, that's why you, a guy will tell you, I, I'm going to spend 30,000 shillings on a haircut. And you're like, on a what? On a haircut? Yeah, why? Impression, especially the ladies. Now, there's also pressure from the older ladies and the younger ladies. They're coming to us like, hey, come on, man up, go have a haircut. You're like, I have no money. You have. Hey. They also want us to. Of course, the older ladies want, you know, uh, and the younger uh, ladies. Uh, speaking of which, man, you're looking fresh. Yeah. That yeah. must be a 30k haircut. Huh? Uh, pushed by an older lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, no, 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 no. That's my <laughs> man. That's <laughs> my <laughs> man. That's okay, my okay, man. Okay, but okay. you get the it's yeah. first impression first, yeah. and I think that's a concept that we got to uh, adapt or adopt from. I think the, the just the deep, the the social pressures and. Uh, the whole, you know, when so it's, it's no, 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 it they also influenced. No, no, actually, it's not peer influence. It's just the media influence. You're looking at hey, people are praising, are, are worshiping Justin Bieber. What is he putting on? These these trousers that as if you have a, a, a diaper on. You know those things. And they're like, ah, oh, this is this is fantastic. And that, those are the pressures we are having. And basically, it's just impression. If every lady is falling for that, hey, put a little diaper on and. Impress, but that's basically first impression. First. All right, so Banji, would you wear the diapers to impress, or do you think that it's, it's 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 upon you as a man to take care of your hygiene and make sure it, it, it works for you? Because don't forget, also every man has their own standards of hygiene. To somebody else, um, being clean shaven down there is hygiene. To somebody else, you tell them to shave everything off, they're like, ah, oh, I'm a man, I have to have hair and some lice. Yes. <laughs> wow. Let us talk about the shaving of the Republic. Yes. <laughs> In fact, why do I call it the Republic? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the father of all nations. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are here. Yes. <coughs> this is yes, bad. We are there, please. So, mm. the Republic mm -hmm. must be as clean as possible. Mm 
-hmm. If it has hair, you must then, I don't know whether there is shampoo for, for that, but medically we, we discourage mm -hmm. application of um, those external, we call them what? Fumes and DTC. Mm -hmm. Just shave it and wash it with clean water. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You are good to go. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, sometimes this world is very crazy. Mm -hmm. You may think you are in a tie, but when some foul smell is coming mm -hmm. from those quarters, yeah. people will be wondering you are in a coffee room or you are in a bus. Mm -hmm. You are polluting the bus. People are wondering where the pollution is coming from. And that one brings me to what I something I have been just thinking about. When it comes to men's hygiene and sanitation, there is a tendency to focus on the external hygiene that other people can see. Mm -hmm. Well, are you shaven? Is your beard in order? Is your shirt clean? Then we forget the hidden hygiene. Mm -hmm. You visit a guy's house and it is like my friend. The pig sty. Even the pig sty is clean these days with modern technology. It's just like Kitesi. <laughs> yeah. What is Kitesi? Kitesi is where KCC dumps. Right? <laughs> 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 and it is it yeah. is annoying. A disaster, yes. It is a disaster. So hygiene has to be in all your life. Yes. At home, in your bedroom, in your bathroom. I, I think the ladies out there normally I have had conversations with ladies and when they visit especially the single men like mm -hmm. this gentleman. They are yeah. boyfriends. Yes. They tiptoe to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Because it's not clean. They're Jumping over line. But also the white tiles are now yellow. <laughs> you, yeah, apparently it's, 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 it's called yeah. off-white. Yes, <laughs> yeah. No, by the way, as architects nowadays, <laughs> we actually advise that you use darker shades of tiles. Black. <laughs> darker shades of tiles <laughs> for sing, if you're doing studio apartments. Yeah. For, for young single, single so people. Accommodate yeah. To accommodate. So you can imagine the man in his profession is improvising to accommodate filth <laughs> in people's <laughs> houses. I think this is not acceptable. Yeah. Um, I, I have always argued on this show and in other fora that some of us who grew up in rural areas, maybe some of these things were not part of our daily life. Mm -hmm. But I tend to thank my museum for one thing. And it, it was, there was no democracy. Yeah. Showering <coughs> in the must. evening was a must. Mm -hmm. You either. But not in the morning. No, in the morning was option. But you guys, Kasese is cold. Kasese is cold. You can't shower in the morning. In Kasese, you cannot shower in the morning. What do you have? But, but, as we grew old, we learned that showering in the morning actually is good. It's very good. So, we have now adopted the recovery. The recovery. And this is... So I, uh, I, it's very, very serious, really. Now, we, we're going to get back to Chris in a minute. <laughs> now, we have to get into a break. Now, we're here at the Naguru Skies Hotel talking about men and hygiene. Now, just before, if you've got any kids who are below the age of 18, I'll advise you to take them away because when we get back, Chris it's going is going to, be to rough. a few truths about Choice what truth. men should or should not do. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. Now, tonight we are talking about men and hygiene. It's no holds barred. Chris was just about to tell us a few truths. Now, Chris, Banji has alluded to something. He, he talked about his dad giving him um, a, a couple of hints on how many times to shower. I come from the school of thought that one of the challenges that we have as young men growing up is we don't have guidance. Should a father teach his, his child, how to shave his private parts. Absolutely. I, I, uh, First of all, should, should a man shave um, his private I, parts? I, I think that, um, you know... I'm not old enough for this conversation. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> if you don't shave um, the, the Republic, Republic yeah. <laughs> as, as Banji has, <laughs> has mm. rescinded, um, there's a couple of things that can happen. Mm -hmm. One of the things is that when, when it's too bushy out there and you're walking sometimes 
your your underwear, or, you know, can get stuck. It depends, especially if you're not wearing boxers, can get stuck in the hair and cause some friction. And some guys get bruises. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you want to be walking with that pain. It can be tough, especially if you're out there in the wild doing something, you know, sporting. Yeah. Um, uh, it's it's possible to also get. Um, I don't know, like there's some sort of like blisters starting like a, you know, like a little pimple, but it's, it's really because the place is not clean. And boil. It is yeah. the word boil. boil. Right? boil. And, and it's sweaty. <laughs> the man knows. Huh? He knows. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> sweaty and that kind of thing. And, and so you, you, you end up getting injuries. Then, then when that day you decide to shave, if you don't, if you don't do it well, mm -hmm. uh, you're bound to get blisters. Mm -hmm. You know, some guys... Razor get, bumps. Yeah, you know, razor bumps. And you just get a bread and you're going at it. And, and then there's all these mountains. It looks like Mount Rezori has just visited your yeah. place. And it can be painful. Yeah. And for some people who don't have, uh, who have sensitive skin, you can actually get, um, it can get septic and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's important for us to get into a culture where we shave uh, often. And, 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 and I, I think that, so, so different people do different things. Some people use a shaving stick if it's, you know, not too grown. Some people actually have uh, shaving machines, an electric shaving machine, maybe a chargeable one or something. Um, some people use creams because, again, um, some of us don't have time. You, you, have, you have five minutes to do this thing, whip the cream in five, you know, you get the thing over. Wait, wait whip the cream where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh, yeah. One of the things that for shaving, especially if, if you're using a cream, and I think this is, these are some of the things. Uh, reading the instructions is mm -hmm. because sometimes if you go over the minutes prescribed, yes, it starts getting bunny and yeah. and, Itchy, and all that, irritation, and, 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 and especially around around about the rectum area, mm. it's very sensitive. Mm. So you can actually get um, you be on damage. fire. Mm. <laughs> you can be on fire and really get yeah, skin damage. Fact, mm. really for us in the health sector, we, uh, we seriously discourage. It should be the last option, yes. cream. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Hair right. removal cream. Yeah, but yeah. I know people use mm -hmm. hair removal cream. But so, so Peter, I, I want to talk about something, again, about men and hygiene. And, and you see, for the ladies, we usually have um, our aunts and, you know, moms walk, us, walk the ladies through step by step, but not the guys. Mm -hmm. so, so, guys, there's this thing about us cleaning our backside after doing that number two job. Yes, yes. you know, uh, mm -hmm. when you go to... <laughs> It's where they took the It's holy. Maybe you're saying holy. I said go gotha. Go gotha. Okay, anyway. What's go Guys, what I'm saying is when you go have a long call and you're cleaning yourself, most guys do not know that it's not advisable to clean coming from the back to the front. Mm. Because when you clean from the back to the front, that, that stuff is getting to your scrotum. Mm. And, 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 and also, especially for those who are not circumcised, if it gets to your penis, the foreskin is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. If it gets anything really dirty there, you can really get sick, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so, so when you're cleaning, uh, please just go the opposite away from your body. Yeah. You know, like you know, from you, from rectum to away from your body. It's very yeah. helpful um, to do that twice. Uh, no, m more than twice, hopefully. <laughs> more than. Okay, twice. you know. I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yes. yes. One more. One more. Uh, yeah. one more okay, one, one, one more. more. Oh Lord. There's, there's, there's also the thing about cleaning under the foreskin for people who are not circumcised. For a lot of men uh, who yeah. are not. Because mm -hmm. most men are not circumcised. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, actually, I, I recommend circumcision for purposes of hygiene. Mm -hmm. The other reasons I'm not so sure about. We've had discussions about A lot of discussions. I, I don't yeah. want to go down that rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. but, but you find that when, when, when a man is uncircumcised under that foreskin, because it's moist, sometimes mm -hmm. you find white stuff there. And it's not clean and it's smegma. It's, it's yeah, it's smegma, you call it? Smegma. Smegma. Is that yeah, a, 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 a botanical name? Uh, no, that's the name. That's yeah, the name but, they call but it. But it's it's really unhygienic. And and you can actually get sick. 
by, by just not cleaning that mm. place. It's, it's important to roll back the foreskin and clean that place and be hygienic. And, and if you can afford, you know, to slow down for two weeks, get that circumcision thing done. It's helpful for hygiene, but also for other things when you marry. Which Colin will tell you? I, 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 I want to add on what Chris has said. Oh, on another hot, I'm not going to talk about circumcision. <laughs> but, yeah. Because I think it's important, yeah. but I think that most men don't have the courage it takes. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a sacrifice thing. So you, you sacrifice quality for quantity. What? Because you get longer duration. Yes, you do. You do. You it's do. not... Yes. Yes. Okay, that's a whole different discussion. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 so, right. so that's fine. But what I wanted to add on... Along the thing, with hygiene. So yeah. the things that Chris has mentioned, a lot of guys suffer from this thing about uh, socks. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, so, so the mm. thing is, most guys, because you wake up in the morning, and, and if you really look at it, the reality is most people, I mean, very few men shower hot water. Most bachelors shower cold water. Mm. Get up in the morning, you hit the shower, you shower and you go. <laughs> so, so even maybe some non, some uh, married men also shower cold water. I, mean, I, I, I don't know. Hot but but, but so, so here's the thing. You get up in the morning, you hit the shower, you come out of the shower, you're rushing to leave. So what do you do? We do the Ugandan way. You get up, I want to show you guys. That bowl of socks. You take the towel, you do like this, you do like this. You towel here, you never go, go below the knee because you don't want to A, that in the towel. <laughs> B, you don't have time for going down yeah. there. So you put on see, your the under. Is not allowed. You know? <laughs> see, see, this thing cannot allow you to I know. bend further. Uh. So what do you do? You put on your boxers, you put on your vest, you put on your, your trousers. Yeah. Now your feet are moist. You take the socks. You're going to be remembered all your life for this show, I promise. <laughs> so, what do you do? You take your socks, you put them on your feet. Your feet are moist. Damn feet. They are damp. Yeah. Yes, because A, you didn't bend to dry, to dry them. them. B, they are now, you've now put on socks, you put on shoes. You go, you have a full day of work, you're standing, what? You come back home at midnight, you take off the socks. What do you do? As you take them off, you just wipe inside here like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put them in the basket. Yeah. After a week, two months, your feet start smelling. You don't know what to do. What does the madam tell you? Says, get for this guy what a powder. Mm. You know what you do? You, you don't have to put it on. You can just put it in the socks before you put them on. Mm. You take it. You put it on for two days. You see an improvement. You stop using. Mm -hmm. You go back. So you end up having your feet and your toenails. Mm. I, have you ever noticed how guys have strange toenails? Mm -hmm. They have like. <laughs> Cream, man. <laughs> yes. So yeah. if you're out there and your husband has this issue with his feet, on son, or, or your brother, your brother, yes. Yes. or your brother in Christ, <laughs> <laughs> as you cut his toenails, mm -hmm. suggest as he's directing the choir. <laughs> <laughs> ah, guys, 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 guys. I guys. Know. Okay. So, so, so here's the thing. Yeah. There is a point, I think, of a conversation to be had. Mm -hmm. um, like in terms, like real talk, mm -hmm. I think these are the things that men suffer from. So the thing about the feet is important. So make sure you dry your feet. Make sure you wear clean socks. Now, if you, if you do a good job of cleaning your feet, it's even possible to rebound the socks. No. Listen, listen, it listen. Possible. It's possible it's if you do a good no, job. Listen, supposed, listen. It's possible. It's possible. But if you're not doing a good job, those guys, you, these, these guys who wear socks for three days before you wash them, like that whole thing is going to lead to an infection. Now, what happens with those fungal infections? They become so bad that you need to take injections to treat them. But then they'll go to other places, they'll affect you. So can, I think that's can, something can, you need to Can I say treat. something where that's concerned? Um, <coughs> I come from the school of thought that underwear, and that's exactly what socks are. Whether it's a vest, whether they are, they're, 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 they're boxes, and I think one of the things which we also need to talk about is boxes vis-a-vis... -vis hey, no, that's another... Briefs. Don't open it yet. Yes. Okay, Let's talk fine, about yes. underwear, including socks. Including socks. <laughs> First of all, in a, 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 a country like ours, mm. must be cotton. Now, here you are. You, go, you walk into this Indian shop. And um, the Indian guy tells you that... Polyester is cheap, my friend. Yeah, no, no, he gives you the silk. cotton one. Okay, and, and the uh, silk one. That's what they call polyester. Mm. He gives you the cotton one. It's shiny. He, he tells you um, that the cotton one maybe is like uh, 10,000 or so. Uh. And you look and you're like, ah, no, that's too expensive. 
This is what I have. Silk one, my brother. I uh. say, yeah, bring. Very, very shiny, no? Yeah. <laughs> you like them. But this one is just 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> you take it. Mm. Now, the problem about socks is just exactly what Colin has said. There is friction in your feet when you're walking. Mm. One of the things a lot of men also don't do, don't know that even after showering, drying your feet, powder your toes. Mm. It is imperative. Even if you're not going to wear socks, it costs you nothing. Just powder your toes. Re repeating or rewinding or reusing underwear is dangerous. There's a reason why you're meant to wear it once, whether it's a vest, whether it, uh, the, the, the boxes or underpants or socks, wear them once and they're washed. Peter, can I interrupt you? Too? Please. You see, the man said they're repeating. Sometimes you'll go to the field. Mm -hmm. Those people who do field work work for four days. Then your boss calls. I have extended your stay in the field. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You're in the hotel. You heaped these things. You didn't wash them. You are taking four sets. So what do you do? But with good hygiene, you, you may repeat where it is. Where you have no choice. Yes. Because ra rather than going with shoes without stocking, mm -hmm. you rather repeat. Yeah. Okay. So, now, there is something which Chris raised. But just and before you go there, please, mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. One of the things but that I was taught by mm -hmm. my late father mm -hmm. is whenever you are traveling, always carry, carry extra. 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 Your father was a wise man. <laughs> so, so, given your father's <laughs> wisdom, we conclude that we should not repeat. Mm -hmm. Actually, good hygiene means you don't repeat anything that you and put on you. you repeat underwear of yesterday yes. of yesterday my mm -hmm. friend. the things that have happened since 8 a.m yeah. <laughs> i mean just you know the story of the underwear if you yeah. wrote a whole play in fact if, if, if one of these kadogo kamu artists just wrote a song on mm. what happens to the underwear from when you put it on when it gets off in the evening <laughs> really you can't repeat yeah, but, but i want to pick something which chris said especially when we go to the exit point when mm -hmm. we use how did you call it? Number two. Number, number two. Yes. Go, go. <laughs> number two, uh, at least majority of the people are lucky that their mothers taught them that you have to go backwards. But uh, there is a tendency for most men to be in a hurry. Some men, they just do once. Either they are economizing TP or what? <laughs> or time. You, you should do once, twice. Thrice. And the third time, by the way, you should have a look at the two <laughs> <see. laughs> <laughs> That's quite. No, no yes, that's also yes, high. It's also high. Yes. You need to check because yes. if it may is, have if blood, it is still soiled. No. Just a yeah, for just a minute. Minute. Just I have check. also got to just check the time. Okay. So just, I need you to hang in there. Now we are here at <laughs> Wait, Wise Naguru Hotel talking about men and hygiene, as I mentioned earlier. If you are sitting there with somebody who's below the age of 18, they need to exit the room or it's on you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. In case you've just joined us, we're here at the Naguru Skies Hotel talking about men and hygiene. Just before we went into the break, Banji was giving us a couple of instructions on how to ensure that when you have gone for number two, you clean, leave there cleaner than you were when you went in. This is your show. We need to hear from you. These are honest and real conversations. These are things that are affecting women. I can see some of you women out there nodding your heads and saying yes. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> but it's, it's to your advantage that you also have a word with your man so that you can live in peace. Banji. Yes. So I was saying, you, 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 do num you, you know, after you are number two, you wipe the first time, you don't look there because you know that is horrible. <laughs> Second time, you don't look there. Third time, you, you check. If, if the TP is still soiled, do a fourth, depending <laughs> on the amount of soil. No, but, but, but Banji. But yes. there, there is something which I would want to advise to my brothers there. This number two, you can practice the time at which you have it. And I would recommend in the morning and in the evening, and rest is really pushes. Yep. So that in the morning, you do it when you wake up before showering. <laughs> then in the evening, you do it before showering to go to bed. So, so that you're always clean. You know the Muslim brothers, for them, after doing the thing, they use water. <laughs> so if you can use water, if you are doing it in your house, please use water. 
then Tara will wash the hands. As the architects now, usually give you a bidet. Yes, now, there's something I want to talk about which men don't see, my brothers and cousins that don't see. The things under the arm. <laughs> and you look at the guy and but the can I just okay. Can I just yes, say brother. this? Because, because we're leaving that side and, mm -hmm. and, and we're going up into the abs, yes. <laughs> armpits. But uh, one of the things that happens is that people go sit on the, on the throne. Mm -hmm. And because we're used to standing, when we sit, we want to do things quickly. Right? So you push, and then before the biological system has outed the very last one, yeah. you stand up and you're cleaning. But you're cleaning when the residue, the, the little <laughs> thing is still there. Mm. So when you keep checking once, twice, thrice, four times, it's still brown and dark. <laughs> you've not finished. Yeah. You know, that, that's an indication you haven't finished. So slow down, finish. Let that other little drop come. And you know when you squeeze it and you feel th that release? We're on national TV. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is a, a place show for you. know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll talk about yeah. This stuff. So, so really, that's when you should then do the cleaning. Colin and, is turning as red as his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's important. So, the so the red shirt was for camouflage because <laughs> I knew oh, you I, hyenas what, were coming. And one last thing. One, still on that point. Also advise men not to keep it in. For so, mm. at least a, in a day, have it a, at least once. At least because if once you keep, every two days. Once every no, two days. No, no, no. At least no, no, once. They, 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 reason being, do, do you know why? So, okay, the reason why your tummy, I mean your fat, usually stinks, is either one, either you ac actually have a bad stomach, mm. or two, you you've got stuff. That, you've got stuff that needs to come yeah. up. So, 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 so release. I was talking about uh, just, just before you go up there, um, uh, there's something which um, uh, Albert has, has actually alluded to, um, which a lot of women do complain about, about men and farting. Okay. Passing wind. Passing wind. Mm. Now, it's natural for a human being to pass gas. Mm -hmm. However, the things you eat, and as uh, he has said it, if you get your stuff out regularly, then, because what happens is, and I'm, I'm, it's unfortunate I have to describe it this way, mm. is that gas flows over. over. Okay. That's, yeah. So if it got something, yes, <laughs> pressure, so it has to come, come out. Mm -hmm. So it, it gathers the gases from everything. It is going over mm. and comes out to them. Mm. And unfortunately, those are things that can embarrass you at the worst possible time. Like maybe when you're in a lift, mm -hmm. you've gone to see your girl, she's gone to the kitchen, and you decide, you know what, I can... No, you, you're in a meeting with your boss. Yes, and then you decide... You and, and, and the, 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 and the, the you're hoping for a silent banner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, we've talked about that. But, so think about it. <clears throat> the guy has smelly feet. He wipes only once, <laughs> but he also only brushes his teeth once. Mm. That's a problem. And doesn't wait. Clean the tongue. Wait, this is not your point. <laughs> no, I guess I just adding to yours. So, so, so guys who brush once, no, no, not you, not you. Oh, so, so here's the thing. So here's what bad breath comes from. So it comes from what you eat. Again, it's like mm. it comes from what you eat. It comes from your oral hygiene. You know, what do you? How many times do you brush a day? I, you know that those flossing, people, uh, flossing, making sure there is no. If you're those men who think that I must eat meat every day, but you only brush once a day, of course there's always meat stuck. Any time someone looks in your mouth, there's there's meat from yesterday, there's offals from this morning, there is beans that you ate at lunch, and then there's kalol which you've eaten at supper. Now you're in bed with a daughter of man, so daughter of woman, because you're the son of man. Yes. <laughs> at midnight you get the urge. You're like. Give me some pieces. Nah. What is in your mouth? An meat. infestation. Of meat and beans. I'm not a buffet. Please allow me to just throw this in. There's someone who said that uh, there was uh, this village romance, a guy and a girl. And, and, and uh, you know, the, the girl says, can you guess what we ate the other night? And, 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 then, and then he says, you know, maybe it was, you know, you ate yam and, 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 and ginat. And, and she says, no. Um, no, no, he says, I, I guess it's beans, because there was a bean <laughs> skin, skin stuck on the tooth. And he says, I guess that you ate that last night. He says, no, we ate it the other day. And you're still there. <laughs> so, so, you see, I, I think it's important to brush regularly, because good or right, I mean, if you think about it, if you brush your teeth regularly, if you end up going to eat the Republic, 
<laughs> so the mouth is one of the biggest carriers of germs. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And people need to know that, that you have to, so you walk into, a, there are people who you meet, they're so respectable. Peter walks into a room, nice, sharp, shiny head, big ideas. He opens his mouth like this and the room has become small. <laughs> like the S is one, but the guy is just killing you. Yeah, speaking yeah. No, of no, 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 if, no, if you can't brush, can I just say that, that it's also good to just carry some mint or gum? Sugar free. Yes. Yeah. Can, can I also free, say yeah. something? That what causes bad breath isn't the fact that you didn't brush your teeth. It's the fact that you didn't scrub your tongue. Yeah. That's and what also your teeth. Bad. Because no, no, no. no. <laughs> Listen, this is science. Uh, science. All right. Relax. Yeah. Peter, just okay. try it. Yes, no, just try it at home. Yes. Fewer, okay. try it at home. Keep brushing your teeth, but don't brush your no, tongue. I'll tell you why you're misleading. It's, I'm a, not, I'm it's, not, it's, it's a, a combination of it is, both. It is. True, true. I've accepted. I've accepted. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because when you don't, Colin has mentioned it, mm. when you've got pieces of food remaining in your teeth, if you don't get them out, they start to decay. Yes. And they start to, as part of the digestion process. So, even if you brush they your tongue. You are having a septic tank. In exactly. Your so, I've so said, yeah. what causes, listen, I've noticed what causes bad breath mm -hmm. is the fact that you don't scrub your tongue and teeth. Okay, we are coming to the end so, of the show. I want to talk about yes. armpits and we have to talk about fingernails. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Because, uh, because you guys you have been shutting no, me down. No, you talk about yeah. armpits. <laughs> <laughs> talk about they your armpits. Have a Mavera forest under their, their arms. Yes. It's Mavera forest with flowers on the top of the, the, the Mvule tree. No, they are now you know. at the bottom. Ah, okay. They grow downwards. Yes, yes, yes. So, Brothers, please, can we really deforest this department? Can we cut? You know, the challenge with that department is that you, most times you don't see there. Mm. So if you are single, you may never see that you really have the forest. Mm. And then, they, you know, these young, not young guys, but there are some men who like putting on sleeveless. Mm. And then the guy you are in the taxi, and the guy, you know, you are congested, <laughs> and the guy is stretching. Mm. No, but, but have you also seen some of these whitey shirts that have a yellow yes. patch? Big yes, patch. Mm. yellow big patch. It's mm. because That's of that. So let us work there. Then Colin also said, no, before you go to the name, mm -hmm. and also... So wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. so, so, so why is deodorant important? Tell us, tell us. And, and also, before you get there, one of the things a lot of people forget is the fact that you must always wear a vest. Yes. Not to keep... In humid it. countries, yes. Yes, in humid countries. It's very important to wear a vest because a vest... A cotton vest, oh, no, not the polyester ones, the shiny ones, mm. because they absorb <laughs> the sweat mm -hmm. and it, it, it saves well, what you're saying. You don't end up with patches right underneath because everything is just soaking through. And you see, designers have also become stubborn. I have seen shirts. That, a white shirt that has a, pa a patch a here. <laughs> you know, you know those yeah, those those coats with this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, they are really so, making so your brothers So, Chris, so, just talk about the deal. So I, I I think that so you need to understand. It's important for men to understand that deodorant is not, cologne is not deodorant. The deodorant is mandatory. The cologne or slash perfume is optional. Mm -hmm. The cologne or your perfume is sort of the men scent don't use that. Perfume. Yes. That's so so if you're out no. there and in the morning you do like this, you put the perfume in your armpit. Cologne. This is that's what the they cologne. Understand. This is this is how people understand. It's perfume. communication. Cologne, come perfume, on, come on. the kawo wo mm. is not for the armpit. Mm. It goes on your body, it goes on your neck, wherever. Deodorant is, comes either in a small roll-on, it comes as a stick, it comes as a, it's supposed to stop you from sweating. That's why it's important. Well, Colin, let's get a bit original about this. You know, puberty, mm. teenage, mm. body changes. Yes. The body starts emitting some of these pheromones. Foul, foul odor mm. out of, you know, it's just emissions that are coming out of your body. Uh, so, so, so for the younger people, and, and we need to help them, those of us who are watching, for the younger people, the, the, the challenge is that when you do not manage that smell from early on, it can carry on. Mm. It becomes part of you. You yeah. know, so, so using that deodorant early or using a bombo, some of those local things to just, <coughs> first of all, kill that initial. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you, you have friends, I mean, the guy is grown, he's married. But it just has this stench that doesn't and, go away. And as Milka said, she's suffering in silence. Yeah, she is suffering. Yeah, no, that's I, I, what she said. Yeah. And can I, can I just say one yes. more thing now? Yes. This, this, you said that under 18 are away, right? Yes. Please, yes. please. This one, I'm going to say, if you kept them here, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, so, so guys who are married, eh? <laughs> after 
after you have had that session with madam mm. please shower i think you shower before no, I mean, Peter, you must shower, shower after. after. Yeah, Even before. Peter, a guy comes to work and he had this thing in the morning. No, 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 of course, yes. yes. Then they hit, when the car hit us, just tea. No, no. <laughs> there is something wrong in the office. And you're like, <laughs> you know what? There's something wrong with you. <laughs> no, and, and you know sometimes when they smell you so he's, much, you have fear to be married men. Yes. Yes. The he said, but he, married, do, but do he said, off at those who time. are married, he said, no, those who are married. If you're having you. lunchtime <laughs> place, yeah. yes. I'll tell you what, because um, uh, uh, we, we reached that point where what? No, no, you go away. You I jump over building. I'm sorry. There's so many. However, one of the things also which I think, and I think the ladies will thank me outside there, is you see, a clean man is attractive for her to have sex with. Um, I don't know what kind of sex you have, but it's up to you. But even when a man who's shaven down there, there are things, the women, yes, they're in the Republic is clean. Mm -hmm. There are things women would want to comfortably do mm -hmm. down there for the men. Sometimes somebody might be wondering why, says what is her problem, and she, it's, he is actually the problem. Mm -hmm. And with those few words of comfort, <laughs> 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 so obviously, I wanted to talk about long nails because you know, mm. before you start getting the republic, in certain places there are places where you must take your fingers first. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I didn't get to talk about that, but I think that you must always keep your fingernails short. And it is important to understand that the way you overall present yourself is how people take you. It's sort of a reflection of the kind of person you are, how meticulous you are in life and you know in other things. For our brothers who have a bit of an endowment here in the stomach area. The maja. <laughs> <laughs> if you're the guy who swallowed Nsanji, <laughs> it's important to clean down here. Just, under, under just you must clean under here. You must lift it and clean. Because when you don't clean, when you sweat, the sweat just comes like this. It collects here and you have just little rivers in your in your jeans, so too close. Shows like this. So some of these things are tough to say. They're tough to say to other guys. A guy can be your best friend and you can never say these things to him. But find a place, find a safe space to have these conversations with your people, with your boyfriends, with your husbands, or with your friends, your male friends, who you can say, dude, this sock situation, man, we need to work on it. And, and I think in the end, this, Difficult conversations build all of us. Maybe, you know, you know, you never know. You could, you could end up coming from one match a week to three matches, eventually in World Cup season. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you know, World Cup, you play fewer games. It's your party. Anyways, um, all I can tell, especially the millennials, hygiene when you look when you look at us you may think our hygiene is all about how much you earn the, the amount of money you earn you can keep uh, improving your hygiene it's not about the money it's the lit, the, the small details that you, you uh, that you fix your mind on to ensure that you are clean you are neat for, uh, so for example you may say 30000 ah, i need a haircut of 30000 no 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 get a haircut that's the most important thing. Okay, you, three, yeah, five, yeah, okay. just get a haircut. Uh, lo, your nails, you may think uh, you need to go to the saloon and the guy chip chips. No, 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 no. These I things are just cut. nail cutter, just chip, chip, chip. Okay. Don't Chinese poke your nose. Yeah. Don't poke your nose. Then, Aria, you, then you come and greet Banji. Banji. Yeah. Ears, and then the ears, the stuff. Then always have a handkerchief. Come on, at least one. At least one. Thank eh? you. At least one. The second one is for the ladies, you know? Yeah. Did you know that? Guys you didn't have, know that. Guys hey, who have no hey, hey, hey. My Some of us who are married, you do not carry, you'll be asked who you're carrying that Always second have at least the second one. Your, yeah. boss, your, 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 your colleague boss. at work <laughs> may need one. If you can't give them the shoulder, give them a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. As in, those are the basic things. Uh, we didn't get time to talk about the boxers and all, but at least try as much as possible. F we, first of all, hygiene starts from where no one is seeing. Lay your bed, uh, change your sweep, bed mop, change your bed sheets, wash. Those, those small details, once you fix the small details, when you come out, trust me, the ladies will see you from a mile away. One day. Great stuff. Yes, yeah. they will. Banji, your parting shot. <laughs> Today is on point. This thing which has worked in this
<laughs> now, I may have start. I am going to request if there are ladies watching out there. You know, sometimes some of us men have small habits, small hygiene problems, and we even don't know that we have these problems. Please tell us and don't tire reminding us. Cut the forest in the public. Cut the forest under your um, Shave the beard. Go and have a haircut. And you see, if if your husband or your boyfriend wakes up and they don't lay the bed, then that is a signal mm. that they have a lot of uh, hygiene issues. Some of them just throw back the, 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 what? the duvet, the mm. bed cap. Mm. When the bed sits inside, is wrinkled. It is. So the bed has to be laid. Don't sleep in the bed sheets if you are single for two weeks. And then the shape of where you put your body is, is a mark. On brown. As, as if lighting is very difficult. This is your space. Yeah. Brothers, this is an embarrassment. Much to some Change the bed sheets. Yeah. Please organize your room. When you enter your room, you see here, the, the room is here at this hotel. Mm -hmm. you know, you, when you go there, you even don't want to leave. <laughs> because they are sparkling. Yeah. You may think they sweep them mm -hmm. every hour. But mm -hmm. I think they do it like maybe once in the morning. Mm -hmm. But the guests, <clears throat> your home should be welcoming. You know? some, some brothers read newspapers or what. And you see there are these brothers who come home. He removes the tie in the doorway. He removes the shoe in the hallway. He throws the jacket. Mm -hmm. Brother, yeah. madam is not a slave to pick these things, or your housemaid is not a slave to pick these things. And the final tip. Clean the tip. Where, where, where madam complained, where Marika complained. If you are sure or suspect that you have soiled your boxers, <laughs> do the washing. Yeah. <laughs> If you really, you know, sometimes things happen. Like a group, uh, yeah. What I call uh, a, a tuk tuk. So, <laughs> and you have because it's out of control. Really. When you reach home, be busy in the bathroom and wash the thing. Yeah. Then Madame will wonder. <laughs> Today I'm here. Yes, right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> But do you know that 37% of men do not wash their hands after visiting the toilet? And please do not repeat underwear. Do not repeat. So, 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 so. Because you're fighting shots. I just want, I've been a national hand washing coordinator in Uganda for, what, seven, eight years. Please wash your hands after visiting the toilet. Yes, yes. With soap. Please. Like, even after the short one. Because when you touch that stuff, then you come. And you've not washed, and then you shake our hands. We are touching your things. It's yours. So that's one. Two, the boxer thing. I think we really need to touch on it. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's not advisable for men to wear very tight underwear because it's said that it's not very good for your reproductive system. Um, uh, the scrotum was made to sag um, so that you can fire, uh, you know, bullets that have. Mm. Uh, Substance. Sparks in them. Life Your bullets. sperm count could go down if it's you know, straight or what? That's very important. <laughs> um, the, the other thing that I, I really would like to say is that I, I, I really think that, that as men, um, uh, our hygiene needs to come from, from who we want to be perceived as, um, uh, not, 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 not who we are coerced to be. Yeah? And one last thing for the ladies, married ladies, right? You have the tool of persuasion, the ultimate tool that can make man do anything. If you promise a reward, you can train the dragon. From a dragon Viewers, thank you for watching. Now we have it from the bed. As a tool. I just told you. That was your party shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this show where we have literally laid it out. For the men out there, 
this was for you, specifically for you. We need you to be clean. Just as my parting shot, I agree with everything everybody has said. Guys, let's be clean. Let's be clean. You'll be thankful. Simple things. You don't need a lot of money. If you need a haircut, be like me. I cut my own hair. It's as simple as that. You have See, no you hair. You have no hair. What do you cut? I mean, with none. <laughs> <laughs> simple things. Use the cotton buds to clean out your ears. Blow your nose. Carry a handkerchief. Uh, polish your, time. polish your, brush your, your shoes. Brush your shoes. Cut your nails. Women like short nails. I'll not say why. You have and with those few words, all I can say is stay clean and God bless and take good care of yourselves and have a good night.